Right, I'm going to talk you through this one. Ladies and gents, John here, Sick Fairway. Wonderful day here, late October, mid afternoon on a Friday. Managed to even get on the golf course. I'm not, I haven't actually driven out here on the buggy just to play one shot for you. This has been a continuum of five holes, and this is now the sixth. So we're actually here. Um, I've, I've hit a good tee shot, little two iron, nice little fade down the middle. I've found myself in the middle of the sixth fairway. I've got a shot into the green. This, can, this shot can catch so many people out on this course. Okay, we're off a down slope to a hill that's above us, to a green, sorry, that is above us. We're going uphill, technically, even though we have this big ravine in front of us. Okay, it's so important. Club choice is so important. To pick the right club here okay now as we're playing uphill we have got a shallower land angle okay so the ball is not coming down as high this means you're going to need more club okay now from here i've got about 170 to a front pin front middle pin red pin now this hole looks fantastic this time of year it's wonderful to get out here um if you do want a game I'm happy to join, okay? It gets me out, gives me some practice. This is the time of year where I say us pros, mostly me <laughs> and a bit of Chris, Adam doesn't really play. Uh, we managed to get out, see the golf course at some of its best, okay? We've had a lot of rain, it's a bit soggy. I've got a six iron, 170. Now my six iron normally goes about 195 to 200, okay? But I'm playing uphill. Okay, so that ball is going to land into the slope quicker. I need to take more club. What I'm going to do, I've got the shoot at that little channel on that left-hand side. That is my, that's my aiming point. Okay, I play a stock fade. That is my normal shot, is a fade. Left to right ball flight. I love seeing left to right ball flight. I don't like seeing right to left, but it comes out far too often. There's a four shout that uh, should have been shouted by the group behind. Maybe that's, a, that's something to tell me to get on with it. Now, this six iron, off that little channel, I'm going to take a little bit off it, I'm going to grip down about an inch. I've got a great lie, it's teed up lovely, so this should be green light for Thomas right here. So I'm going to set the club face first, more club off that nice tall tree in the distance. I'm going to saw it off, Tommy Fleetwood style, it's about as close as I'm ever going to get. Oh, we've done it. We've done it. Go on. Middle of the green, giving myself a chance at birdie. But the most important thing is I've taken enough club to get me all the way back to the green because that shot off of the upslope is really not a nice shot when, you, when you're around the green. Okay? It's so easy to stab it. Give yourself a chance. Okay? Give yourself a putt. This way, we're going to play better golf. Hitting greens for higher handicappers is the is the, the sole thing people need to be working on the more greens you can hit the more birdies you can make the better you're going to play all right look as i said i've helped loads of you already and i would love to help more okay if you're in need of a bit of guidance whether it be on the golf course or whether you want to work on some mechanics on the range let me know and we'll get working winter's the perfect time to do it let's get on with it happy golfing